up guys? So today we are taking these little dudes to the So Chalupa, she has actually been really okay. It's more Calypso. She's been like sneezing a whole bunch. Like there's a tremendous amount of snot that has been coming out of this little kitten's body. Her eyes have been super crusty and gross and all that. So we just decided we need to take them to the vet and get them all checked up on, see whenever they need to get their shots and just see how their well-being is basically. I am going to the one that is right across from the walk-in gate. I haven't heard like too, too much about it, but I went in and it looked really nice and the ladies there were really nice. So I was like, okay, I'll give them a shot. No deal. We will see how it goes. All right. It is so cold out here. It's like 35 degrees. They're on lunch. So they told me to come back at two. So I guess I'm gonna be walking home and coming back. We don't have a car yet. I can't really like venture out too far. And I don't really feel like paying for a cab considering I have two legs and it's like a mile walk. So I'll be back in at two. So I picked my little babies up. Here they are. Aww. Basically what happened was I went in there and they weighed them. They're underweight, sadly. <laughs> but that just means we're gonna be shoving some more food down their throats. But Calypso, she's the worst. Um, she has an upper respiratory infection. She has cat cold and pink eye. But they gave me a week's worth of eye drops and pills that I can just like, it's like little powder that you just put there in the wet food. They gave them a breathing treatment and both of them got shots in their booty. They both got antibiotic shots. It wasn't that bad. It was $115 for both of them. So I think that's reasonably fair considering both of them are pretty sick because they're babies and they were left on the side of the road for who knows how long. People are crazy dumping these little babies. So I'm gonna walk home and let my little babies out, give them some eye drops. I will check back in whenever we are safe at home. So I just wanna brag on my kittens just a little bit. This is the carrier I have for them, okay? It's just the cheap $20 one, like no problem. So this thing right here is made so if your cats pee on it, you can just take it off, throw it in the wash, totally fine. In four hours, my kittens did not pee in the carrier. They did not pee, they did not puke, they did not poop in it at all. I am happy right now, to be honest. I am so happy, I am thrilled. <laughs> I did have a blanket around their little cat carrier because it is very cold outside. I didn't want them to freeze their little paws off. So I had them wrapped up in a blanket. Don't think I'm a bad mother, okay? This is what the vet gave me for both of them. And then here are their little eye drops. The vet gave us these little packets that have their food or have their medicine in it. So we have five days worth of that and hopefully they are better in five days. So the vet told me I needed to mix their powdered medicine in with like the mushy kind of cat food. So I'm gonna need to go to the PX real quick and get some wet cat food and give my little kittens their medicine. All right, I am back and I have some new toys. Got the stick. They love bells, and then this also has catnip in it, so they're gonna love that. I got them a little play tube with some more little balls that come with it. I think they're gonna love that too. And then I got them some treats, some canned food, all that fun stuff. So let's see if they even like it. <laughs> hey. 
but oh my gosh, they literally could not care less. Look! Maybe they'll be more interested in this than clawing up our chairs on our couch now. <laughs> Obviously, you can see the packing paper back there that they absolutely destroyed. So, I guess I'll actually be able to finally clean that up because they literally dragged that thing all the way to our bedroom. fan of the little catnip fish. Oh, you're stuck. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I guess they are. Right, I just put their medicine and their food and they are eating it totally fine. Oh yeah. I love these. All right, so it has been two days since I took my kittens to the vet and they're honestly, they're doing so good. Both of their eyes are like not crusty anymore. They're wide open. They, I can tell that they have gained a little bit more weight with them, me feeding them a little bit more than what I did before. But yeah, Calypso, she's honestly doing really good. You can obviously tell that my kittens are doing pretty good eyes have gotten so much better oh she's such a pretty kitty oh yeah oh yeah yeah she doesn't have any crusties she hasn't been sneezing that much so she's doing pretty good you look so good and also by the way the little lines on her eyes those are not eye boogies we like to say that that's her eyeliner but it's just the the coloring of her fur so she does not have any eye boogies Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!